no doubt Metal Gear is an amazing series. It has everything, from memorable boss fights to an insane sci-fi plot, to David Hayter's grisly old smoker's voice. Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. The best thing about the game is that it rewards you for doing the bat craziest things. Sting a missile 200 seagulls, you get a codec from General telling you to refocus on the mission. Stare into the ladies' toilets, you'll get towed off by Rosemary. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know what that place is? I think it's fair to say that I wasted my life on Metal Gear 3, because they introduced features like the Kiratan Frog. There were 64 Kiratan Frogs. A friend and I had a competition to see who could find and shoot all these over frogs to give you the stealth camera pack. We got to about 61 and he looked the last three up online. I spent my entire revision time finding those frogs, and as a result, I failed my A-levels. So I'm not quite sure who won out overall on that. Another great distraction from Metal Gear 3 is you could sneak up, grab one of the guards, and then interrogate him. And the guards would give like the most encrypted and usually pointless observations. Who speak? If you climb trees, there's fruit. I don't consider myself a completionist, but I made it my duty as a box operative to complete every one of these guards' final wishes. Because usually I'd slit their throat after they're done talking. For stealth reasons, of course. Answer me! The crocodiles are ferocious! <laughs> Speak! Throw a grenade into a crocodile's mouth. But the greatest easter egg happened on about the 100th guard holdup. He told me that listening to music relaxes you, and then he gave me the codec frequency for Sogio Mantis's Sea Breeze. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, wielding a half-naked, young toting man behind enemy lines to this delicious elevator music was truly satisfying. <laughs>